In this video today I'm going to show you guys how to replace your battery for your HP laptop. In this particular one we have an HP uh, model 14-CM0005. I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how to replace your battery or remove your battery. So first thing first you need to find yourself a guitar pick or any opening tool. I use a guitar pick because it has a soft nice edges and it's really tough. And the second thing is to grab yourself an opening tool set. I use a I use the iFixit tool set because I like the uh, the bit qualities on this one. They don't go bad. And I'm gonna use the Phillips number zero. That's all you need. And what are we gonna do first? We're gonna remove the back rubbers at the bottom of the laptop. Just stick the guitar pick right underneath and lift it up and then put it to a side and do the same thing from the front rubber lift it up uh, put it to one side next you don't want to lift up the rubbers and bend it over otherwise you're going to crack it lift it up in one direction and just pull it up evenly remove the actually i use a magnet with my tips because i don't want to magnetize them uh, but this way it's easy to lift up the the screws remove the two screws in the front of the laptop those are the colored black and then remove the only screw that is under the bottom cover I mean bottom leg right there and then three screws at the back side of the laptop where we remove the rubber all right the screws are all the same size so don't worry about mismatching them now you want to open the laptop in 45 degree angle you want to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover and then you want to just twist it around just go all around do the front the sides you don't need to do the back end only do the front and the sides and then close the lid and then grab it from one corner just lift it up easily be gentle all right once you open it up the whole thing is in here you can see the battery right in front of you the model is an ht03xl to remove the battery there's only four or five screws one hey, my screw one two three four four screws there's only four screws holding it there should be a screw here 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 but here they don't put it in i guess so we're going to remove the four screws the screws are the same size so don't worry about mismatching them again well, once you remove the screws and the rest is easy just lift up from the back or lift up from the side because there's a hinge right here lift up from the motherboard just disconnect the connectors and then pull it out because this one right here goes right underneath here just pull it out so there we have it all right, once you get the new battery in here, just put the back down first, slide it right underneath, pull it over and press this one down so the connectors make a nice connection right there. And then put the four screws on every, one screw on every corner. There are four of them in total. It would be nice if there was a screw right there. So I don't know if there wasn't a screw, they forgot to put it in or what happened because this is where the connector goes you might have a screw there so double check if you might have a screw right there too all right and the last thing is to grab the bottom cover place it right on top and then it's press down every corner the back you hear those clicks that's what you want to hear and if you don't hear it just Press it, open the laptop a little bit and then just pinch the bottom and top cover all together because you don't want to pinch the screen. Go all the way, all the way back. And once you're done with that, put the black screw on the front side of the laptop. Put the other one in and the rest are, doesn't matter wherever you go, just put one on the front and the three at the back rubber end i hope you guys like this video if you liked it click that thumbs up button 
And if you have any questions or any requests, leave them in the comment area. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And the last thing is to grab these rubber legs and then place the hole down right there. And then just run it down. And there you go. Just try not to pull on the rubber when you're placing it. Otherwise, you're going to get an extra rubber at the end. Just put it down gently. And that's it. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.